Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry and today I'm here to help you pick the perfect movie gifts for everyone on your list. This holiday season, make sure that your gift really means something. No, not love, not that warm feeling of giving. Make sure that you're sending an actual message with your gifts this year. And today, I'm going to help you navigate just the right presents to clearly get your messages across to everyone that's both on your list or those ones that maybe didn't quite make the list. So go ahead and stir that liqueur into your eggnog, get that pen ready, and let's pick out the perfect movie gifts for your holiday season. For your friend who likes to block all the fun, and you know what I mean. Go ahead and gift them blockers. Listen, Becky, you're not even my mom to be cock blocking this dang much, okay? Just because you can't get none, get out the way and let me have my fun. Over here on some high school mess. Move it, girl. Move it. All of that that's served up right here, that's the holiday meal I'm trying to snack on. And you're trying to deprive me of the nutrients, girl. Move it. Stop the cock blocking. For that less than smart family member, go ahead and give them night school. Have you ever thought about, like, going back to school? Maybe? Hmm. Have you heard of the, the three letters G, E, D? Maybe we can find a, like, common sense and general knowledge school somewhere around here i don't know but we got to do something i am just going to keep it real we have to do something so we got to enroll you somewhere somehow i don't care if the class is full we're making an exception and getting you in for the gamer addict in your life go ahead and gift to them at ready player one hey Hey! Free meal. Sex. On the table. Open. Ready to go. I have one million dollars in my hand cash to give you if you put that damn controller down. Right now. You really would rather be a little purple dragon than get some of this? Hmm. And what the hell even is a bandicoot? Yeah, you know there's a problem when the game controller is the most important aspect to their life. When you know that your friend is being catfished, but apparently they're too stupid to get the hint, go ahead and get them a ticket to see Nobody's Fool. And how do I say this in a way that you can receive? Quite frankly, you, my dear, are everyone's fool. Everyone. Everyone in your life knows what's happening here, except for you. Have you FaceTimed? Have you seen any video at all? Does he look like a stock photo that you found across the interweb? Mm, doesn't even have a Facebook account, huh? Yeah. Oh, what a coincidence. Yeah, out on those oil rigs, honey. His mama became ill, then his sister became ill. Does he have any family left that ain't in the hospital, dear? Cat? Fish? Take it off the menu, hun. Time to grow a brain, okay? We might send you back to night school, too. Stop sending people you have never even met all this damn money over the internet like this to come visit. I'm done. You have that one friend where you always put the sunglasses on before you lay your eyes upon them because, woo! That skin is bright, y'all. Bright! Go ahead and gift them Midnight Sun. Listen, the fluorescent lighting of your room and the moonlight do not count, honey. We need to get you out into the sun, the real sun. Go ahead and wear some shorts too. I lose just a bit of eyesight every time I catch a glimpse of those paper white legs. They've got some tanning lotion. Can we get like a little bit of a cream lotion to put on you? And I said cream. Honey, don't go grabbing that beige. Don't go grab caramel. 
We ain't doing none of that black fishing here. But we do need to do something because, whoo, this is too much. The only time you see the sun is at midnight. I can't. My eyes. I have been blinded one too many times. For that family member that you can't just get to shut up, go ahead and buy them a quiet place. You see those monster things in the film? Yeah? That's gonna be me. Oh, but it's the holidays. <laughs> no, but for real. Shut up. If you want to make it to see New Year's, I'd start playing the quiet game real quick. For that toxic leech in your life, go ahead and get them venom. You know they're right. Parasite is correct. We're not talking about no symbiote. You are not a symbiote. You're a parasite. You're a leech. You are not only draining me of my bank account, but at this point, you are draining me of my life force. Let's go find you a job. Let's go find you some friends because I'm out. The concept of this venom symbiote business is only cute on the comic book page or on the movie screen, hon. It ain't cute on you. For your family member that is just a complete and total irritant, go ahead and buy them a ticket to see Bumblebee. Much like the Transformers franchise, sometimes I wish you would just go away. Like seriously, go away. Actually, hand me your phone. We're gonna, we're just gonna take care of that whole number business right now. Hand it over. While you're at it, make sure you are logged in to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're just going to unfollow across the board. Delete my phone number out the phone. We need to just get it all done. Much like a real bumblebee, I'm sure you have a purpose on the earth. But I'm not trying to hear all that buzzing in my ear right now, okay? So let's just get this done. I don't want to have to swat your ass. So let's just remove that ass. For that insistent Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Defender in your life, go ahead and buy them tickets to see Mary Poppins Returns. This is Mary Poppins, y'all. Period. That's it. End of discussion. Put the meme to rest. For your friend that thinks these dirty juvenile jokes are still the business, go ahead and buy them the darkest minds. Is there anything going on in that head of yours? Is there even a dark mind in there? I'm not sure, actually. Cut it out. Stop. Stop it. Just stop. You think you have a dark mind? Well, if you tell one more joke, you'll see how dark my mind can get. It won't be a laughing matter, hun. No, it won't. For that friend who lent you their computer last month, Go ahead and gift them unfriended dark web. Yeah, so I logged on to your computer. Whew, that browser history. Hmm. Not so savory, huh? A pro tip, maybe you wanna clear that out before you let folks just hop on and search the web with your business, huh? Listen, I don't like to judge, but that was some freaky deaky mess I saw in there, okay? I think we should arrange for a therapist. We need to find some more healthy ways to deal with some of this stuff. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I went ahead and canceled that Amazon order. Listen, we have already taken it too far with this Pornhub search history. I think it's best we just we leave that merchandise on the shelf, okay? And stop searching for mail order brides wrong with you. Ooh, and I could not believe how much Taylor Swift you be listening to on YouTube. I, th I thought we were better. I thought we were better. Honestly, I know you were helping me out. You were getting me out this tough bind, let me use your computer and all, but I really don't know if our friendship can, can survive this. I think this might be it. It might be a wrap. Happy mother effing holidays. So those are my suggestions to send the perfect message with your holiday gifts this season. So make sure that you gather in with your pumpkin spice lattes, your pumpkin spice cheesecake, your pumpkin spice toothpaste. Get ready. Hit up those movie stores. Make sure that you have on your 
ugly sweater that you paid way too much money for. Yay, commercialism at its finest. No, seriously. There's a market for buying something that you literally call ugly and will spend like $60 for and never wear but to one party a year. I can't. This holiday season, we're not just sending holiday cheer. We're sending a message. And here's the message I'm sending to you. Make sure to like this video down below and subscribe to this channel. That's it. That's the message. Happy holidays. Oh, my goodness. How do y'all listen to this?